Carson was much more private and very different off screen than on screen. Once, once he went out there, it was like you pulled a light bulb. He was just terrific. <clears throat> Carson's career was amazing. And I negotiated his first deal in 62. Mort Werner selected him, but we couldn't get him because he was tied up with a program called Who Do You Trust? It was on CBS or ABC. I mean, you can look at, we couldn't get him. We had to go through a, a period without him where we had guest hosts. We had Joey Bishop and a whole bunch of different people. And then we finally got him. And I can remember the first lines he said on the air. In those days, as I indicated about the Olympics, in many markets, the network didn't come on <clears throat> when the news finished, because the news was only 15 minutes long. But you had to fill the first 15 minutes. So the first 15 minutes was hosted by Groucho Marx in the studio in New York City. And he introduced, you know, when the show came on at 11.30, he introduced a new host of uh, The Tonight Show, Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson came out. I don't think they preserved the Kinney or whatever the hell it is. They didn't, re they didn't keep it. Johnny Carson came out, looked at the audience and said, I want my mommy, which was funny the way he said it. But he was, he was the biggest star in the history of NBC. 30 years doing it, profitable years for NBC, great host of the Oscars when he did it, great, great entertainment image for the company. What about from a negotiation standpoint? Was, was he just, was well, the negotiation was interesting because my recollection is that we agreed to pay him $2,500 a week. At that point, the negotiation <clears throat> was being handled, I mean, this is really inside stuff that nobody, by Sonny Werblin the most important agent in New York City, MCA, Mr. New York, Sonny. I think it was $2,500 a week. Then we learned that we couldn't get him. The other network wouldn't release him. So the sub-agent was a fellow called Herb Rosenthal, MCA, worked for Sonny. And he called me up, said, we want, now that you can't get him, we want more money because he's not coming out. So I said, well, I don't know about that. We're sticking with our price. I called Kintner, who was close to Werblin. Kintner called Werblin. About an hour later, I got a call, heard we got him. Just that simple. And I think it was 2,500. Now his salary went up considerably after that and rather quickly because he was really a fine 